Hi, and welcome to one of the super simple tutorials. So I made this uh, sweatshirt for my youngest daughter. Uh, I have another video where I show how to do that. It's made with some fabric paint and some embroidery patches, and she's really loved it, but she is too big for it now. So I'm just going to uh, see what I can do to use it, to use this to turn it into something else. And I'm thinking about doing it, uh, making it into a pillow. So I still have this lovely, motif uh, and it doesn't go to waste so here we are this is the very nice jumper and i'm going to cut into it and i've actually just got this very nice square shape that i'm trying to mark around giving it a little bit of seam allowance but you can also use some paper that you cut into the right size so but this little shape kind of matches uh, the small pillows i have if i just give it a couple of centimeters seam allowance so that's my two pieces there and then it's just off to the sewing machine and i'm not gonna hem i'm not gonna do a 6x stitch or a serger stitch on these edges because they don't really fray and they'll be hidden inside so i'm just adding the zipper straight on really and i'm just uh, using this zipper that it is that is slightly too long but that was the size i had and that's nicer than using one that's too short so that's the last bit of the zipper added and then i've got the two pieces stuck together and uh, as you can see that looks all right and then it's just about making it nice here on the front of the zipper. So I'm just folding in the fabric a little bit so it's uh, it's kind of very close to the zipper teeth. And I'm doing the same on the other side as well. So you can't see that much of the zipper fabric, but it's like the fabric is closer to the actual zipper teeth, just to, just to close it off a little bit more. And then I'm ready to close up the pillow. But first, I just want to open the zipper a bit because I st if I stitch it together with a closed zipper, it is not impossible to get into at all, but it's a little bit harder. So I like to stitch it together with an open zipper. And then I'm just going all the way around and uh, stitching it approximately one centimeter from the edge that kind of fits with the seam allowance I gave it and then with the pillow size I have. And then I reach it here to the end of the zipper and then I can cut off those little zipper bits because now the zipper is properly put on and then just turn it out to front and uh, put the pillow inside of it and then we're ready to go. And I uh, still have this really nice uh, pillow that's, uh, that also reminds me of a cool jumper I made for my daughter and uh, she might not fit into it even more but we can still enjoy it so please use up your little bits and they can continue to give joy so thanks for watching